Right, so it is day two of being on Reactane. Of course, there is not much difference because I've only been on it for one day. Everything is pretty much the same. So this is my skin on day two. Hey guys, so it is day three of me being on Reactane. I just wanted to quickly film and show you guys how I am already getting dry flaky skin on top of my spots. And I'm not sure if that's because of the reacting or because my spots are healing. I don't have any new spots except for this one over here. It's come to quite a nice head, so I might extract that a bit later on. By the way, I just want to let you know if I have extracted or popped any pimples or spots, it's because my doctor has given me like set instructions on how to do it hygienically, and I use a sterilized needle and antiseptic gel and antibacterial like alcohol to put on first and then everything is very clean and it's done with the least damage possible and I'm not going to get scars from it. Um, I've already done it a couple times on my forehead and as you can see there are no scars on my forehead so yeah just wanted to let you guys know. Day four of being on Reaccutane, not much to report. I have woken up with three little white heads, um, one here and two over sort of in this area over here but I'm not worried about them because they're tiny and they're not cysts so it's all okay. This patch of skin here where I have a few cysts has definitely felt a lot flatter other than these couple of little spots that popped up there's not much to report so yeah this is my skin on day four of reacting. Sorry I look terrible I just woke up but I wanted to show you guys before I washed my face and turned on my proper camera um, how flaky my skin has gotten. It's like all flaky up here I'm not sure if you can see on top of like the cluster of spots that I used to have over here, it's like really peeling and flaking off. It's not uncomfortable. There's a little bit over here as well, but it's mainly on this side. It's not uncomfortable, but it's just um, cool that the spots are already kind of healing. Like when my spots like flake like that usually means that they're healing. So hopefully the Rakuten is already working a little bit. Um, but that's like the first time I've experienced like that much flaking. Day six of being on Neuracutane. I think I can safely say that I am seeing a definite difference in my skin. I woke up this morning and it all just felt so smooth and flat. I mean, obviously it's not completely smooth, like perfect skin is, but it's a lot flatter than it usually is. The only thing that, you know, has popped up is where is it? This little guy over here. It's just a little white head, but I'm not bothered about it. It's a tiny little thing. As long as I'm not getting new cysts, I'm totally fine. These feel like they are going away and healing. I didn't extract or press or pop any of them because I feel like it's in an area that I can't really see that well and I don't want to like damage my skin and give myself scarring or anything. Skin isn't as dry and flaky as it was yesterday. It still is a little bit dry and like a little bit flaky around my chin and stuff like that but not like big chunky flakes like it was yesterday. It is feeling a little bit itchy today but like a tiny bit. It's just like I want to just rub it a little bit but I feel like the itchiness is not from dryness but from the acne actually healing so I'm very happy about that and also the redness has seemed to have calmed down quite a bit which I'm so happy about. I haven't washed my face yet, I just woke up, this is my bare face as soon as I woke up. This is my skin on day 6 of being on Reracutane. This is the only new spot that I have, it's just a little white head, it will go away very soon. Other than that, everything else seems to be healing nicely. A little bit of flaking going on, but that's a good sign. Chin is doing fine. These are starting to heal nicely. Over on this side, we have this cyst, which is flattening out very nicely. Um, I can hardly feel a bump under there anymore. There seems to be something brewing under the surface over here, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm sure it will just stop in its tracks in the next few days. Skin is a bit flaky along here, I'm not sure if you can tell. <laughs> Feeling pretty good about it. Everything that I've had in the past week or so seems to be gone or on its way out. So yeah, feeling very good about it. Day 8 of being on your Actane. Sorry, my hair's kind of crazy right now. Just woke up. So skin is not doing that great today. A lot of pimples that I've been feeling have been 
sort of brewing under the surface have either come to the surface or I can feel like they're getting a bit lumpy and they're a bit painful. My lips are definitely getting drier, that's for sure. Skin isn't flaky this morning, which is quite nice, but it definitely was kind of itchy yesterday, maybe because some stuff was coming to the surface and some stuff was healing, I don't know. Not too bad, not too bad. Day nine of being on Reaccutane. Skin is doing okay. The thing that I had on my neck, I haven't really talked about in a while, um, but it seems to be almost completely gone. It was very flaky a couple days ago, um, so I think it's probably healed now. But yeah, other than that, all of the little red marks that you see are busy kind of going away and they are healing up and in a couple months the hyperpigmentation will have completely gone and yeah, very happy about it. My skin isn't completely clear, obviously, but that is because it's only day nine and it's gonna get better. I'm really excited for this to start working properly and yeah, this is what my skin looks like on day nine. We have officially reached 10 days of being on the medication. Woken up with quite a few spots on my face. I think I counted about nine or something. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's another one somewhere else. But um, yeah, this thing over here was something that I had seen kind of like under the skin for a while and I thought it was just like, I don't know, an imperfection in my skin. And then I got bored yesterday and I kind of squeezed it and I realized that it was like a little, one of those white head things that are under the skin, like a black head, but not. I'm kind of irritated that I went and picked at it and then I woke up with this tight, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to flip you off. Um, I woke up with this little white head this morning, so my forehead is officially not clear anymore, <laughs> but it's fine. They're tiny, they're gonna go away soon. It's fine. The only thing that's not fine is that this area over here, oh my gosh, it was so itchy last night. I was like scratching it and it was so lumpy and bumpy, like it was even more so last night than it is this morning. I can still feel it's quite bumpy underneath the skin, but I'm just like really irritated because I thought that that this area especially was flat now. She says that like triple cyst has really been making a great improvement, but what can you do? So it is the morning of day 11. Um, <laughs> so this hurts so much. I don't know, it's just developed over the past couple days and it hurts so much. It's kind of at a head, but I feel like if I tried to press it or pop it or anything, it would just hurt too much to like extract. So I'm leaving it alone for now. And then there seems to be another one over here. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's there. This um, jawline cheek area thingy isn't as bumpy as it was yesterday, but it's definitely still bumpy and a bit sensitive to touch. Um, so I'm really a bit annoyed about that. This pimple or spot or whatever you want to call it seems to have filled up again, and I have a new one in between my eyebrows. So. That's great. Other than that, I've been getting a little bit of peeling around spots that are busy healing and yeah, that's about it for now. I don't have a ton of new spots, but the ones I do have, like this one, are super painful. It's it's okay. <laughs> like my skin is doing okay. I do see myself upping my dosage though after day 14 because my skin hasn't gotten considerably better. Day 12, I'm realizing that my Updates have been getting a little bit too long and rambly and drawn out, so I'm deciding to just kind of cut to the chase. This still hurts like crazy. This section along here is definitely flatter and smoother, although I still can feel some bumpiness and when I do touch it, it is a little bit sore. So maybe there's still some stuff coming to the surface, I don't know. Other than that, everything seems to be kind of dying down a little bit on this side. On this side, um, I think this, this, and this are new. Um, these are dying down nicely. They're just like hyperpigmentation spots now that will go away soon. Everything else is either on its way out or it's just hyperpigmentation on this side. The chin is feeling nice and smooth as well, which is good. And my forehead seems to be going away quite nicely. Well, not my forehead, but the spots on my forehead. Um, they seem quite nice and flat and yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're just healing now. Lips are quite dry though. I'm gonna go put some lip balm on right now. <laughs> All right, day 13. Not much to report. There's a little spot over here, but I think that's from yesterday. 
couple sort of all over the place no new cysts though which is amazing this flattening out a little bit but not too nicely this i extracted yesterday and it hurt so 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 much but it's all fine now surprisingly this one at the back which i thought was a smaller one hurts even more than the other one did stuff on my forehead is going away nicely which is great i'm sorry my hair is so messy just woke up chin is completely clear which is quite nice and yeah that's how my skin is looking today on day 13 also i don't think i told you guys but basically the plans for my dosage is for the first two weeks to be on 20 milligrams and then to see if my skin is doing either a lot better or if it's kind of the same or maybe worse and then make a decision whether or not to go up to 40 milligrams or not seeing as i'm going to be finishing two weeks tomorrow i I think I'm going to be going on to 40 milligrams because my skin isn't like, hasn't made a big enough difference in two weeks. So I definitely think I need to go on to 40 milligrams from now on. So yeah, as of the day after tomorrow, I'll be going on to 40 milligrams. So it is day 14. I've officially been on Rakuten for two weeks now. And yeah, I definitely think I'm going to be going on to 40 milligrams from tomorrow because I really, I just don't feel like my skin has made a big enough difference in order to just stay on 20 milligrams. So yeah, how my skin is doing, forehead is clearing up nicely. There's just like almost nothing there. There's just that little bit of hyperpigmentation from that little spot there. Um, this area is still bumpy and it's like sore to the touch like if I run my finger along like this I can feel some painful lumps underneath there and it's just really annoying me <laughs> other than that everything feels kind of smooth like there's a new pimple over here there's a couple of spots on this cheek um, not too bad but I am a bit miffed <laughs> that the stuff hasn't really flattened at all in the past week or so so yeah i'm going to be increasing my dosage from tomorrow and then next week i'm going to go get my bloods done so that when i go to see my doctor in two weeks time he can check everything out make sure everything's fine blah 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 so yeah this is day 14 of being on roaccutane day 15 of being on roaccutane i'm sorry if it's a bit echoey i just recently painted my room so i had to take all of my furniture out and now I haven't put all of it back in, so it's really echoey, so sorry about that. Today's the first day that I start taking 40 milligrams of Rakuten instead of 20, because um, this patch over here, I can still feel cysts underneath and it's just not going away. So I'm going to have to take some action and yeah, as I said before, this was advised by my doctor, he knows what he's doing, blah 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 blah. We'll see how things go on 40 milligrams. As for how my skin is doing today, it's not too bad apart from the lumpy bumpiness underneath this patch over here. This seems to be going away nicely. This is a new little spot. This is a new little spot. This seems to be going away. Nothing active on my neck, which is really great because this thing over here and this thing over here hurt for so long. This is how my skin is doing on day 15 of Roaccutane. Skin is doing meh, okay. Um, these three marks over here are old pimples that I extracted yesterday, so don't worry about that. I have woken up with this, 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 a couple over here and a couple over here. I don't know what that's from, it's just I seem to wake up almost every morning with a few new little whitehead spots. They go away within like two or three days, so I'm not bothered about it. However, I am bothered about the bumpiness that is still going on over here. It's also really itchy. I'm not sure if that means stuff is coming to the surface or if it's healing. I just, mm, I don't know. It's just very itchy and I keep scratching it, which I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't do it, but it's just very itchy. Lips are dry as hell. <laughs> They're like so dry. I haven't put on lip balm this morning and I'm seriously regretting it. I need to put on some like 
as soon as possible. I have also noticed that I seem to be getting a little bit of eczema on my hand. It's definitely calmed down quite a lot, but I'm definitely going to have to keep it moisturized and try not to scratch it. I've also noticed that the back of this arm is a bit itchy. I haven't looked at it yet and my back was very itchy last night as well. So I don't know if that's just like general dry skin or if it's eczema. I don't know, but my mom said that this is definitely a little patch of eczema on my hand here. So that kind of sucks, but I suppose you have to just take what comes with this medication. <laughs> this is day two of taking 40 milligrams instead of 20 milligrams so I am going to experience a change in my body and the dryness of my skin and stuff so I'm fully prepared for that. But yeah, the itchiness is just very annoying. This is my, how my skin is doing on day 16. Day 17, I seem to be breaking out a little bit over here. There's two quite painful pimples over here and then this seems to have popped up as well as this. On this side it's actually doing pretty well apart from all the lumpy bumpiness of course underneath the skin on this jawline. That seems to be the only new thing that has popped up and yeah the rest is doing pretty okay. Skin isn't as dry and like uncomfortable as it has been for the past couple days. Lips are still dry. <laughs> Need to go put some lip balm on now. But yeah, this is how my skin is doing on day 17. <laughs> day 18 of being on Reaccutane. Skin is doing actually quite well. I haven't actually woken up with any new spots. The only ones that I have that are active at the moment are these two over here. Well, there's like a patch here and here that I have. It's still extremely lumpy under here. I don't know why, it just won't go away. I'm hoping that the Rakuten will sort it out in the next couple of weeks because it just hasn't budged for the past like week and a half, two weeks. I don't know how long it's been. It's been a while though. But yeah, skin isn't too dry or anything. Doing quite well. This is my skin on day 18 of Roaccutane. Good morning everyone. It is day 20 of being on Roaccutane. Yesterday my skin, I woke up and it was absolutely gorgeous. Like it was so smooth. No new pimples, no nothing. So, so nice. And then I wore makeup for like 13 hours, 13, 14 hours. And I kind of broke out a little bit, but not that much. So what's going on today is I'm a little bit dry and flaky in certain areas. There's actually nothing new on this side of my face except for this little guy over here. And if we go over to my other side, it seems like this patch over here seems to be coming to the surface a little bit. I can feel um, these bumps sort of coming to the surface a bit as well. And then this I accidentally just picked last night because it was a... Um, a white head and I kind of just scratched my face and it came off so yeah that's that and yeah but other than that so my skin is very smooth um, not too dry lips were terrible yesterday though I didn't take the right lip balm with me yesterday it was more of like a, a normal sort of chapstick and it just wasn't moisturizing enough and my lips were peeling the whole day I felt very subconscious of it but whatever I also have to go get my bloods done on Friday morning, I think. It's now Wednesday because I'm going to see my doctor next week um, after a full month of Rakuten. He wants to see how it's going and if I need to increase my dosage anymore. I really don't think I will have to, but he just needs to check up on me and see if it's affected me in any bad ways or anything. Um, so he'll get my blood results and just kind of check it out and make sure everything is 100%. So... Yeah, this is how my skin is doing on day 20 of Roaccutane. Day 21 of being on Roaccutane. This is what my skin is looking like. I have just moisturized my skin because I just got out of the shower. I had a very early ballet class this morning so I couldn't film an update as soon as I got up and I couldn't show you what my skin looked like as soon as I woke up so sorry about that. Not doing too badly. Um, this seems to have popped up in the past couple days. This also on my neck which is a bit annoying. A couple over here on my chin and stuff is just constantly popping up on this jawbone, jawline, cheek area. I don't know what to call it. This looks like two very close together so I hope it doesn't get too bad. Um, and then a couple sort of in my hairline area but they're very tiny. For the most part doing okay. This is how my skin is looking on day 21. Day 22 of being on Rakuten. Um, I have to go get my bloods done today 
So I'm sorry if I look a little bit more tired than usual it's because I haven't had any coffee and I can't until I go get my blood stuff because I have to fast. So struggling a little bit over here. I have about three new spots that have popped up overnight but not many. Skin looks kind of like pretty fine to me. This has been here for the past couple of days. So has this and then this, this, this and then this I think. Well, this I've had for two days now, so it's just about three that are new. And then this stuff is just continuing to hang around and gradually come to the surface. And yeah, a couple of my chin, no biggie. Day 23 of being on Reaccutane. So my skin is doing fine. These three red marks are just from me extracting these spots yesterday, so they're just kind of like scabs and they're gonna heal and that's gonna be fine so but apart from that i only have one new tiny tiny spot right here above my eyebrow and that's about it um these ones seem to have gotten a bit more painful over the past 24 hours they were very small yesterday and now they seem to have gotten a bit bigger and more painful so i'm hoping they go away soon so yeah this is what my skin is looking like on day 23. Day 24 of being on Reaccutane. Skin is doing not too badly. I woke up with like a monster of a pimple <laughs> on my chin here. I felt it coming up underneath the skin last night and then when I looked in the mirror this morning it's like this massive white head so I'm definitely going to be extracting that today. As for the rest of my skin it's doing not too badly. They actually aren't any new pimples other than this one on my chin so there's still this one that seems to be you know kind of dying down a little bit these marks are just marks they're not active spots anymore uh, this is new the one new pimple over here on my jawline and then a few in this area that are going away this I accidentally picked last night I just scratched it other than that everything's doing quite well I have a little bit of dryness like over here and a little bit over here like just a little bit of flaking skin and whatnot and yeah this is day 24 of being on Roaccutane day 26 of being on Roaccutane I didn't film yesterday because we got up super early again and went to go see the snow in the Matrosberg mountains. As for how my skin is doing, this was smaller yesterday <laughs> and I tried to extract it and it didn't work and instead I just inflamed it even more which I'm a bit irritated about. So this is kind of sore. These are all things that are dying down because I either extracted them or they're just going away by themselves. So is this thing on my chin over here. There was a bit of a head over here, so I extracted that and quite a lot of gunk came out, which is really good. That means things, stuff is getting out in this area, which seems to be like purging and stuff. Yeah, everything else is just like old pimples that are just dying down. The only active thing that I seem to have at the moment is this. I am peeling like quite a lot. There's like flaking skin over here, on top of my lip here, here, around my chin, things like that. So yeah, definitely peeling quite a bit. But yeah, this is how my skin is doing on day 26 of Roaccutane. Day 27 of being on Roaccutane. My skin is very dry and flaky sort of around this area over here, like my mouth and chin and by my cheeks and stuff. It's mainly where some um, spots are like healing and going away. So yeah, I'm just going to have to exfoliate this morning when I wash my face. Other than this little spot that disappeared on my sort of bumpy area, there actually isn't anything new. And yeah, apart from the dryness and flakiness and the one or two little spots that appeared, not much difference. My hands have been suffering though. It's not as bad as it was yesterday, last night. They were literally red. <laughs> like they were so dry and like they had all these little bumps on them and it was just full-blown eczema. Other than that, this is what my skin is looking like on day 27 of Roaccutane. Day 28 of being on Roaccutane. So we are officially like four weeks through which is almost a full month of being on Roaccutane which is quite an achievement for me and today I'm going for my doctor appointment and he's going to check up on me and see how things are going and decide if we need to continue on the same dose or not and 
you know, just general checkup stuff. As for how my skin is doing today, it's not too bad. There isn't anything new on my purging patch. <laughs> If you follow me on my Roaccutane Diary Instagram account, I'll put it on the screen over here again if you want to see it. I've called this section of my face my purging patch because there's just so much stuff that is purging out of there. So I don't want to keep saying my right jawline, just it's my purging patch now. Just accept it. <laughs> there's still stuff underneath the skin, obviously, like a ton of bumpiness and lumps, but nothing new has come up today like it has done in the past couple of days. On this side, there seems to be something coming up over here. I am noticing a lot more bumpiness on this side as well as this side. Not as severely as this side, but there is still stuff purging out of here as well. And yeah, I'm not peeling today, which is really nice. I made sure to really slap on and layer the moisturizer. So yeah, not doing too badly for day 28 of being on Roaccutane. Day 29 of being on Roaccutane. I have just completed, or well, yesterday I had just completed four full weeks of being on Roaccutane and now I'm in week five, which means I've almost completed the entire first month of being on Roaccutane, which is just amazing. It's gone so quickly and I'm really happy that I'm on it and I can just carry on and I'll soon have clear skin. So yesterday I went to my doctor for like a checkup and he said he is very happy with uh, my blood that I had done about a week ago and he said that everything is absolutely fine, perfect, nothing to worry about. He has also put me up to 60 milligrams of Raracutane per day now instead of 40 which I've been taking for the past two weeks because my cysts and stuff have just not budged, they've just hung around and he basically wants to test my tolerance level. He said that if I experience extreme side effects like cracking skin and bleeding nose and lips and things like that, I must just go down to 40 milligrams a day again because it would be too much for me. So basically I'm going to be giving 60 milligrams a day a test for a week or two and then see how I'm feeling, what my skin is looking like, stuff like that and then make a decision to either carry on for a while with 60 milligrams or go back down to 40. He eventually wants to put me on 10 milligrams per day as like a maintenance dose for a couple years he said. So basically we're just in the process of building it up to kind of nip it in the bud and then once my skin is looking good he can bump it back down again so that it can just maintain my good skin. So with that being said this is how my skin is looking today. It's actually not too bad. It's calmed down quite a lot since yesterday. This last night felt like it was definitely going to be a huge head that I'd have to extract but it's actually gone down quite a bit. Um, so has this. It's really flattened out. This has appeared overnight though, but it's not ready for extraction, so I'm going to have to leave it for a couple days, and so is this. We have nothing new on my purging patch. This is also quite flat, and yeah, other than this and this and this, there are no new spots, which is brilliant, and yeah, this is how my skin is looking on day 29 of Roaccutane. So yeah, we've reached the end of month one. I'm sorry I haven't done updates in the last couple of days. I went to my cousins for the weekend and so I didn't film updates like this. So yeah, sorry about that. But today is day 32. As for how my skin is doing, it's, mm, it's been not so great this weekend. I've been breaking out quite a lot of here, but just in like normal small spots. So yeah, I have quite a lot of redness over here. There's still constantly like little heads coming up over here from like cysts and stuff and I have, do have a couple of bumps underneath this jawline as well and my skin has become hypersensitive. Since taking the 60 milligram dose I think my skin has definitely become like even more sensitive so whenever I like rub my eyes or scratch somewhere it just goes red for a few minutes so that's not so great but yeah I'm not too dry my lips are always suffering, like I ran out of my favourite lip balm and I'm just really needing to get more because I've been using this chapstick and it's just not doing it for me. So really need to get some of that. I am going to be doing like a roundup or a end of month update and things like a video just to sort of like 
say everything in one video rather than making you what like a half an hour like vlog of every day of my skin so if you want to go watch that that'll be up soon and yeah this is what my skin looks like after one month of Roaccutane.